I really need some help. I really need some help. I really need you really, 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 really need some help. I really, really need some help, guys. I really, really need some help. I will explain to you. I will explain soon enough. Play the fucking song. Play the fucking song. Seven twenty fifteen Black Friday. Happy Friday. Happy, happy, happy. I hope everybody have a wonderful Thanksgiving. My name is Dakota France and welcome to The Way I See It. As the episode title describes, I need a little help with a couple of things. First off, the, the author for going to joining me on a trip to York is still standing. Please feel free to visit DakotaFranson.GroupTourSite.com That is D-A-K-O-T-A-F-R-A-N-D-S-E-N DOT GROUP TO I think, hold on, let me double check. GROUP TO SITE.COM And you can actually get special offers that include Black Friday deals on the trip if you want more information about that, please do feel free to give me a heads up. I will be more than happy to let you in on that. Give yourself or someone you love the gift of an amazing travel, life-changing life life experience that few people actually are able to experience. It is an absolutely amazing opportunity, plus it will give you a chance to hang out with me. Alright, but that is not the main focus of this program. Alright, listen up. Tan Hut! I am going to be working on a project here soon. I have been advised to put in, a, let's say, a rush on a new song. The Christmas single I kept talking about on the last program is finished and will be available on Sunday, December 13th. But this single is actually needing to be rushed. It is a letter to someone I have been trying to get in touch with over the last few years. And I've found out that where she is, she's actually still in the area, but I'm not able to easily contact her through conventional means, you know, like Facebook and all that. I haven't really got much of a chance to chat with her. 
And there's just a, little, a lot of history with this girl. In fact, uh, she was the inspiration for all of my major projects. My ghost hunting, my books, my uh, music, my shows. You know, she was help, one that helped inspire me to at least look into these opportunities, to look into how to put these types of opportunities together. And now, and I never really had much of a chance to really thank her, let alone apologize, because we had this really huge falling out when we lost contact, and we tried started to you know, patch things up a bit, but, you know, just life just started getting in the way. So naturally, we, you know, powered in ways, did what we needed to do, and moved on, and, yeah, moved on with what we had going on, but, oh, I can't really say I've moved on much, I've thought a lot about her in, uh, the year time that has gone by since I last saw her. Anyway, the purpose of this song, it is going to be formatted as kind of a poem slash letter to her that I'm going to need some help getting out there. I need it to be spread out as much as possible in hopes of her hearing it and reaching out to me in whatever way she can. I'm pretty sure she spotted me around the same time that I spotted her. But due to circumstances with my day job, I was unable to really approach her. So, I, in order to help increase my chances, I need to get this out there. There's just something that she really needs. To see. I would really like her to hear. Maybe try to explain myself a bit better than what I could. I was an idiot. I was an idiot. I want to put that out there right now. Let's just say I did something stupid. I really didn't want to do, but I felt that I had no choice. Or, or I don't know. What? Who, whoever knows what the hell they were thinking. Of. I got started in this type of thing in freshman year of high school. Who the hell knows what goes on in their own heads at that time in their lives, right? I don't know. I don't know. I just... All in all, I just really need to reach out to her as soon as possible in order to, you know, set things right. That's just the way I see it as far as that. Alright, now the ISIS situation. Going back to my trip to Europe, a lot of people have been trying contacting me with concerns. And I, I know that the situation right now in France is not that dire. A lot of people are still kind of recovering from that traumatic experience. But everything is okay. I do have a family member who currently is in France right now. And sounds like... The Chandra song, it kind of goes along with the ones who walk all worlds, lovers cry, 
do check that out. It is available on Amazon, Barnes and Noble. Just Google my name. I'm pretty sure you can find it in a matter pretty quickly. Just Google my name and you can find a lot of stuff about me. Or just visit my website. Also, as part as to help get the word out about my songs and to kind of reach out to this person, I am going to make a sort of music video for this song. And it is advised that I take at least a couple weeks, plan a couple weeks in advance, so that way online store placements can have time to make the necessary adjustments in order to help bring my program to life. But I do have enough resources at my disposal to where I can handle some of it. You know, I get it out there. It'll be included in the album, which will have plenty of time once it is closer to being ready. Anyway, I don't want to go through all that legal crap. I'm still kind of sorting through all the paperwork for that. So anyway, I... Back to some... <laughs> Alright, I'm kind of realizing how much I'm jumping around, and I do apologize. Alright, summarize. Summarize. There, I'm working on the song right now, I'm putting a rush on. That I need someone out in the world to hear, and I need help to get it out there. I need help putting it out there. I'm going to try to give a few clues in the song about who this person is specifically to try to make things a little easier on your part. I do know that she is in my local area and if she sticks to her, and if the situation isn't much different no, I shouldn't say that. I don't want to put out too many personal details about her. Despite what happened, I still have a lot of respect for her. And because I'm so thankful for the inspiration she gave me, I'd be willing to lay down my life if the situation called for it. I'd be willing to lay down my life to help her out. That's how much she meant to me. And some of the people that I have told, talked about the situation to, said I should try to go on with my life and move on until but that was before that I really had a chance to explain myself if uh, I know that kind of sounds like I'm some obsessed ex-boyfriend and I know I hear it too but for now I'm nothing more than a friend who is desperately trying to apologize for something that happened a long time ago. As for everything else, I want to take this opportunity to try to you know, kind of give you all a sneak peek at what's going on. Ah, oh, fuck. Brain fart. <laughs> um, Alright. My website, dakotafranson.com, is currently undergoing some changes. I am not planning on getting all these changes finalized until about New Year's Day. This is going to try to help clean up the website a bit more, try to organize things a bit more, because my work is getting pretty far, reaching out pretty far, and I would just kind of want to reflect upon that. Seems like each project becomes a new voice in my head some days. <laughs> Alright, and with um, my music and all that that's going on, I'm going to be creating a new YouTube channel. I will keep the one that is still that I've been using for this broad to archive this broadcast as well as several other of my previous projects up so that way the videos are still available for you to watch. But I am also going to be forwarding this broadcast to the archives to that channel, as well as music, music videos, um, video broadcasts, and stuff like that.
Because, <sighs> like I said, there's a lot of exciting stuff coming up, and there's a lot. which will allow people who need to get out of their comfort zone in order to overcome life's challenges, so to speak. My idea is to basically put together funds to help, you know, cancer survivors, domestic violence survivors, suicide survivors, as well as, you know, independent creatives that are experiencing writer's block, or just people that need to get a new, brand new star on life, and just take them to new and exciting locations each year. If each year it's going to be different people, obviously, new destinations. In fact, my trip to Europe is going to be serve as kind of a, kind of a trial basis. Yeah, I would never, never thought I'd be able to say that. I am going to Europe to experiment with an international travel program that I'm putting together. Oh, then again, this year I've been able to do a lot that I've never thought I've been able to, to do. And I honestly do have to thank it to the inspiration to this girl, the girl that I'm writing this new song for in hopes that she will see it and reach out to me so that way we can touch base and I can at least just say I'm sorry. I'll kind of, there's a good chance the song will kind of explain what happened, you know, what was going through in my mind. And, uh, why I want to make things right. I try to be a decent person, I really do, and whenever I end up fucking up something like that, I usually do what I can to make things right, even if it kills me, depending on how I feel about the person affected. And I think pretty highly of her, so, yeah. I know I'm, some people are probably saying, yeah, all guys say that they'd be willing to put down their life for the person they love. I hope that my actions can prove that, unlike most guys, I actually did. It's like I used to tell my, I, I told my friends, it's like, you know, you hear guys always saying, with the right woman, they can move the world. They can shake the earth. Well, just by the very, just by the very kindness she showed me, I was, I am, and still am shaking the world in my own way. I know I haven't exactly hit big time, you know, Miranda Lambert, Keith Urban status. It's probably going to be a little bit before I hit go get there, but I'm very optimistic. It's all about becoming better, bettering myself, bettering my projects, bettering my skills, just becoming better and evolving over time. So anyway, I don't want to go into further too much detail about those programs quite yet. There's still a lot that's still on the chalkboard so to speak we're still I'm still kind of planning everything out and talking to a few more resources to how pro, how, <coughs> how to approach these better so that way I'm not making a fool of myself more than I already do on a daily basis <laughs> anyway please do check out the links below for, for special discounts on a variety of products. I'm actually working out a few details which will provide even more chances 
even more dis special discounts. All you gotta do is just click on the links below and check everything out. Let them know that Dakota sent you. I'm sorry. There's another person. There's a person in the other room that is fucking distracting me. <laughs> anyway, so I'm gonna end this broadcast here. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna need some help, and I'll be sure to send out little notices as to when I need that help. I'll be sure to give you updates on all the major projects. Please check out my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever you happen to find me on to get updates even quicker. Adios and have. Hope you had a good Thanksgiving, and if I don't see you by then, Merry Christmas. The next planned broadcast will be likely on Saturday, December 12th. In order to premiere my song, No Home For Me, this Christmas. I hope you guys will enjoy it. Until next time. Bye!